welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to go on an adventure to stockport and find ourselves a full face of poundland makeup or pound world or basically whatever pound shop we can find so let's just go <laughs> Just arrived at one below not too sure if this does makeup as i have never actually been to one below before don't know if it does makeup but we shall have a look but it looks pretty crappy inside let's be honest <laughs> find another Poundland because ours didn't actually have all of our face or makeup so we're basically just going to dodge all of the Poundlands we can actually find. Stockport was absolutely boiling and I made the mistake of wearing my joggers so now I'm like even more sweaty so I think I've got everything but we'll find out when we actually sit down and go through it but the makeup's looking a bit dodgy I don't think it's going to do much I shall see you when I get home or when I film the next part managed to get a full face of Poundland, Pound World, whatever you like to call it, makeup. Everything was a pound. I've just realised I didn't actually get myself like a primer or anything to prep my skin beforehand so I think to get started I'm going to use the Primark Hydrate Enriched Skin Primer because this was a pound as well so I thought at least we're gonna still be on like the pound, you know, I'm not gonna be cheating in any way. So we're just gonna get started with this basically. I am also going to be using my viewfinder and my little handy mirror to look in. If you see me looking this way, it's because I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder. We have also got a different setup today. I thought it probably would be easier to do it in my bedroom. We've got my dressing table here and all the makeup brushes. I just thought it would be nice to do it in my room for a change. I did manage to find us some foundation. So this is by a brand called Makeup Gallery and that's their gorgeous, flawless, long-lasting foundation with UVA slash UVB filters. With a flawless matte finish. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but Mum has just decided to start drying her hair mid-video, so that's great. I think this was in shade Nude Porcelain or something like that. Ugh. It doesn't really look like a nice smooth foundation, it's quite like a paste, it's almost like a builder's type paste, it doesn't really look like it's going to do very much for my skin. Hmm. It does match my skin, it is a little bit too light, it hasn't really got a smell either, let's give it another squeeze because even though it's quite thick on the brush, there isn't actually much product going onto my face. I might put a little bit too much on there, but you can see how that's going on the skin. It's literally like I'm painting a canvas. So far, don't really recommend buying this foundation. Put my brushes back. And next up, we obviously have concealer. So this is from Max and More Makeup, and it's their Correction Highlighting Concealer. And this one is in Soft Nude simple packaging that little brush on the top and then I'm guessing you just sort of wind this up if it does anything and I also even ha haven't got a backup concealer either so if this doesn't work then we're all done for basically oh there's a bit come out the top 
this does look very dark I don't think it's gonna match the foundation at all yeah it is quite dark you can't really see it that well on camera it's very thick and I do quite like this applicator it makes it easier to put on the skin rather than to faff around with brushes and etc etc I didn't actually buy any makeup brushes to apply this makeup with I just thought I'd use my own because it seems that the better your makeup brushes you have the nicer it actually applies onto your skin whereas if you have like cheap makeup brushes and you have like expensive makeup then there really just isn't any point in putting it on your skin because it's not going to apply the same This one's going on a lot nicer. It's actually sinking into the skin a lot more than the foundation actually did. Coverage is actually very good on this. It isn't actually showing many blemishes through the skin. As you can see, it's pretty full coverage, which is a good start, actually. They didn't actually have any contour products in the shop, so I've just had to stick with bronzer. But before we do bronzer, let's do our eyebrows. So this is their eyebrow kit and it's by Makeup Gallery and it says all about the brow. And then these are the shades inside. Top left hand corner, I think it would match my hair. So I haven't actually used powder in a very long time. It has got pigment to it. I can't really fill in the front of my eyebrows, they're just a bit bare. Whereas obviously on the other hand, if you have your precise my brow pens, you can sort of draw in strokes where powder, you can't really draw in strokes very well. So that is eyebrows done. I do actually quite like this kit, and I must say it would be very handy if you're going to a festival if you want to pack light. Now I've put the bronzer. Bronzer is here. So this is by Makeup Gallery and it's good to glow bronze shimmer. So I'm just going to dab a little bit in because I don't know how strong this is actually going to come off. Yeah, good idea that you dab a little bit in because you can see there's quite a lot bit of pigment there anyway. And I'm just contour around my face because, you know, I'm very pale. I haven't topped up my fake tan this week, so I do need to get on that ASAP. Let me know down below what your favourite fake tan is. I've been absolutely loving the Bondi Sands. I think it's their tanning foam in dark. I just absolutely love it. So let me know down in the comments what your favourite fake tan is because I'm looking at exploring some different ones. I'm not too sure how I feel about the tanning mists that you just spray on your skin that's like a clear water. Because surely how are you supposed to know where you've actually put the tan? I'm thinking if it was me, I'd end up spraying it everywhere, I'd wake up the next morning and I'd probably missed half of my body. But bronzer, I actually do rate. I think I would probably use this again. So after bronzer, I am going to use blush. So for blush, I've got from Max and More, and it's their mineral blush, and this is in shade 605 Dusty Pink. Very, very clunky packaging again. Ooh. That is so good. So it's got, I'll just lift up the bottom. And it's got a little brush and a mirror in it and for a pound that is absolutely incredible it's quite a peachy shade i don't really go for really dark blushes but just picking it up on the brush then it has got quite a lot of pigment so let's give it a whirl oh yeah i went in too strong i'll have to try and blend that out a little bit It's basically just ruining a makeup look, but we'll keep going anyway. And then next up is my highlight. So this is by a brand called Sunkiss and it says Glow Baby Liquid Highlighter. Let me just dab a little bit on my cheek. I mean, it would, it would create quite a good like festival look if you just dotted these all around your face. Right, I'm just gonna do three dots because I don't do any more. And I'm just going to use my finger to press it into my skin. Okay, I'm going to put more on, I'm going to be daring. Okay, let's give that a whirl. It has got quite a nice shine to it. 
and it is a little bit iridescent as well. It's drying quite quickly though. I'm gonna put a little bit for on my forehead. Oh, look what it's just done. Look down my nose. It's just taken my foundation and concealer right off. Okay, so that is pretty much base makeup done. Now it gets onto the interesting part where we start doing our eyes. So this is the thing about the eye makeup. I went to one below and there was not any eyeshadow palette type things at all in the store. So that's when we decided to go to Poundland and there was, but there wasn't the greatest of all ranges. And this one, I thought I'd get it because it gave me a little bit of challenge to try and actually work something with. The colours that they put in there weren't the most useful colours you could think of. So obviously everyone sort of chooses like the reds and the ambers and corally colours, but Poundland have gone all out and put colours together that don't match at all. So I pretty much picked up the only colour that you could barely create a makeup look with. So this is by Makeup Gallery again, and it says, do the duo. What possesses anyone to put these two colours together? It's jet black and then a shimmery colour. That black is actually pretty decent. They are very, like, silky. Okay, so we're going to try and do something with this. I did clean my makeup brushes out this weekend so they are nice and fresh but let's pick a makeup brush that isn't one of my favourites because I doubt I'll get the black out anytime soon. I don't wear black eyeshadow, I just can't work with it at all so I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. I tell you, these would be great for Halloween because it's cheap and cheerful. You're not paying a fortune for eyeshadow. So if you want to look like you just got a black eye, then this is your kit. I'm going to try and smoke it out. Don't think it's going to go very well. Hi, I'm Isabel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So if it's going to go a mess, it's going to go a mess, isn't it? I'm going to go in with this nudie shade and try and put some on top to give a bit of a shimmer. I mean it's kind of worked but it hasn't really. Let me use my little brush and let's see if we can't do anything about in our, in our, in our, in our, in our. Let's see if we can't do something about our inner eye corner, in our. I'm going to try and shade out the outskirts of my eye. I think that might try and help the situation out. Great. I think we're going to leave the eye shadow with that because it's. I'm not going to save it. It's not going to go very well. So let's move on to our mascara. So this is by Max Moore again. Let me rip it out of the packaging have a look oh like this type of brushes oh it doesn't smell great oh it doesn't smell good at all so let's have a go and see if it does anything to them so to go with mascara I have bought myself some false eyelashes and these are by Be So Beauty and it says ideal for adding volume to your lashes and it includes glue how good is that to get two pairs of eyelashes and includes glue for a pound and I can't quite find my scissors anywhere so we might even just have to stick them on as they are. Eyelashes have just been applied, they are still drying but you can't really see them. I didn't actually find my scissors either so I've had to just put them on as they are so they will look a bit stupid up close. they just got like a little flick and I also couldn't get the glue open. I pressed it and pressed it and pressed it against my dressing table to try and get it open but I was scared that the glass was going to shatter on my dressing table itself. Now we need to set our makeup in place. 
So this is by Max and More and it's their setting spray. I normally do my setting spray before I've done my lips by the way, so we are going to do lips after this. So let's try and set this beautiful makeup in place. The smell is a bit strange. It's like I've entered a mouldy greenhouse, that is literally what it smells like. So this is by Makeup Gallery and it's their Pout Matte's Matte Lip Colour. Not a big fan of matte colours anyway, just because I think it is very drying on your lips. But we'll see, it doesn't really match this makeup look, but it was the nicest one they had, so we'll just put it on. It's quite a nice colour. There we go, that is pretty much a full face of makeup done. If you did like this video, make sure you smash a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already, leave me suggestions down in the comments if you have any video ideas or any other makeup stores you want me to try their makeup brands out, I will certainly do that for you because I do like creating these types of videos. When things go wrong, it is quite funny, isn't it? So I will see you next week for a brand new video. In the bizzle!